Radio Shouty. The boxing match. We just last talked about that. I mean, how did you feel about the Tyson Roy Jones Jr. boxing match? The I got a lot of flack from that too. You, you got you got you you got me a lot of flack from that. Uh, uh, but when I looked at the, the 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 you know the whole I looked at it two or three different times uh-huh. to make sure that what I was saying uh, had some merit and some credit to it. That's right. And I, my takeaway from it was because you remember I came on your show and said that Roy Jones would win this fight. That's right. And I, in my heart, I believed that he would win the fight. <laughs> but as I as I looked at it and as, as I reflect on my behavior on your show, yeah, I, I was wrong. Oh, I told I told I told everybody I would come on here. Yeah, if I lost, yeah, I'd be a man and stand up and I'd say, you know, what I'm saying Wick was wrong. Wick ain't wrong a lot. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying so. It take a lot for me to say that. I feel you. But I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why. Uh, one, it looks like Mike took the the fight more serious. Yeah, as well he probably should have because he made thirty million to Roy's ten from what I kind of heard. Damn. But yeah. But uh, Mike, Mike seemed like he was in a lot, little better shape. Yeah, he seemed like mentally he was a little bit. He was, he was, he was, he was there. Yeah. Um, Roy, Roy, Roy had a good game plan. Mm-hmm. You know, we used to Roy. You know, uh, you know, hot dogging out there. Yeah. Uh, frustrating people. He never frustrated Mike. You remember back in the day, That's Mike true. got frustrated. Yeah. Remember, he bit our guy ear off. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He said he was going to eat the kids. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I kept saying on your show mm-hmm. that I expected that we got Mike out of that second or third round, we can get to him. Yeah. Not just physically, but we can get to him mentally. Thanks. You understand what I'm saying? Thanks. But he shocked me. You know, so I, I see the growth in him. He, you know, he stayed down because Roy was holding the shit out of him. Yeah. Roy held that man like a baby. <laughs> It was a Roy, Roy rocked the baby with him, and I said, I said, I said, kid. Everybody else kept saying, everybody else I was watching the watching the boxing match was like, man, I wish Roy quit holding. I kept saying, no, Roy, keep holding him, because it's only a matter of time before he bite the ear off or something. I knew, I, so I wanted Roy to keep holding him, yeah. But he did, and Mike, 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 uh, you know, he he held his composure and he won the fight. Now I will say this. Uh, Roy had some opportunities. Yeah, uh, my, you know, I saw some flaws in Mike' game. Mm-hmm. Roy just didn't have enough power once he got in on him. Yeah. to knock him down. Thanks. You know, he hit him a couple times. Mm-hmm. He, he he hit him with a two three piece. You know, a couple of rounds. Yeah, but he couldn't sustain it. You know, and that's due to you know, I guess his workout regimen or whatever whatever it was. I think that if he took that fight again. Mm-hmm. I think that Roy now he you know he he feel Mike because he said after the fight that shit hurt you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. so I think I think that if he took that fight again that he would train a little bit harder and I think it'll be a much better fight but I can't sit up here today and say that Mike Tyson didn't win the fight you were right I was wrong well now answer me this though Wick what do you think that did for boxing with those two legends being able to come back and pack it out like they did because I mean that thing did numbers too that thing did numbers and 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 it it goes back to um, the Jeezy Gucci, yeah. Uh, and before the Jeezy the Gucci, we had Patty LaBelle, and yeah. we had uh, we had um, I know what you're talking about, uh, our girl, exactly. I can uh, Midnight Train to Georgia, yeah. Gladys, Gladys. I, I don't Gladys. know why Gladys ain't already <laughs> escaped. I be want to say Anita Baker so bad. I had a crush on Anita. Yeah, everybody yeah. did. But 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 um, I say those two things because now with this fight right here, in 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 sports and in entertainment and and a lot of different things. Now, uh, being a certain age is not a disqualifying factor anymore. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. We showed that there is still value. And I'm going to tell you who kind of jumped it all off was uh, 107.9 mm-hmm. when they had Boom 107 and they started yep. playing all the yep. classic hip hop. Yep. Then you had Ice Cube come with the, he said, you with know, the all these three. basketball yep. uh, uh, players that we loved were sitting at home getting mm-hmm. on their wife's nerves. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He got them up off the couch. Mm-hmm. Even if it's 50,000, if it's 100,000, it's about the competitive edge. That's you right. That's what I'm saying? And so a lot of the, a lot of the uh, you know, with, with that boxing match right there, I'm sure, yeah, they made 30 and $10 million, but I'm sure Mike then probably would have did it for a fraction of that Thanks. just to get back in the ring and do something that you love without people saying, hey, man, you washed up because of your age. Or, or you." I tell people this all the time. I'm just – I can't help it. I started rap at 18 years old. Yeah. I'm the same age as your favorite rappers out here. <laughs> I'm 47 years old. A lot of them right at 45. They think I'm 60. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they my fault. They started at 30, and I started at 18. You feel so, but but and all in all, bruh, it, it 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 was a beautiful thing watching. You know, said two OGs. Uh, get out of Roy Jones that, that, that you know don't need to box. He, he you know he did it out of love. The money yeah. wasn't a center, but he's he's already on HBO boxing. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? A commentator. Yeah, you know he didn't need to go out there and take that pain for for nothing. So so you know, I, man, big ups to 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 both of them uh, for stepping in the ring and big up to man to, to the country starting to see that. You know, once you're over 35, that you're not washed up in anything <laughs> that you do behind. <laughs> 